Hey folks, this is Vincent Adelie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Sagrada Passion. This is the expansion to Sagrada, the tabletop game. This is our first time trying out the expansion, so there may be a rules goof or two, but primarily we're here to show you what this expansion brings to the core game. Now, we've already covered Sagrada, so I'm not going to go over all the rules, we're just going to play a round or two. Um, the expansion adds a number of different modules to the game. Um, there are these private objectives that are in the core game. Every player gets one. Shades of blue, shades of purple, and so on. Well, the expansion adds these. Um, these are new private objectives, and you're going to be using these in place of these. And these focus around the glass dice, which is primarily the main draw to this expansion. Um, the game comes with a number of these glass dice. There's more in the bag up there, but it's one per board, and these glass dice can basically um, ignore all color restrictions. So you can place these things next to anything you want. They're kind of like a wild in that sense, but you still have to observe any um, values that might be hard-coded into your board. So you've got these new unique private objectives that center around those dice. Um, you've got these new inspiration cards. These are like special abilities that each player can have. Um, each player is dealt one at the beginning of the game. Um, one might be at the beginning of the game, lose one favor token. Once per round, use a tool only, uh, using a tool only costs you one favor token. Um, these cards will either say once per round or once per game. So as you use them, you just have to keep track of, you know, when you're using them and how often you can use them. Um, you've also got some new um, public objectives. So you've got these here. Uh, again, they sort of they sort of um, revolve around um, symmetry and keeping things balanced. Um, so it's pretty cool that way. You're going to shuffle these in with the other public objectives. But you have to be careful because some of them actually contradict each other. Uh, for example, you've got this symmetry one here where it says two and two and five and five. But there may be some in here that need, that wants you to have unique values in an entire row and that would contradict each other. So the, the rule book in the Sagrada Passion expansion recommends that you keep an eye on certain cards that contradict each other and then draw new ones as appropriate. So these will enter that pile, we'll shuffle them up and do that. There are the standard tool cards. This comes with the base game. Um, you're only going to deal two though instead of three. Instead of dealing that third tool card, one of these um, glass dice panes will be added to the game and then you're going to roll a number of glass dice depending on however many empty spaces there are. So you're going to you're going to pick one of these, you're going to shuffle these up, pick one of these, put them out, roll a die, put it here, and then basically these allow you to spend favor tokens in order to um, take the glass die from here to put it into your board. Um, there are different ones like pay favor tokens equal to the number of empty spaces in your corners to place this die in your window, or pay favor tokens equal to the number of empty spaces in your top row to place this die in your window, and so on. So there's different costs. The, the cost of the favor tokens will depend on which one is here and based on what it says. So those are primarily the um, new modules that this particular expansion introduces. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead, clean things up, set things up, and we'll get the game started. Okay, so we set up the game for two players. I'm on the left, she's on the right. I chose a four favor token card, she chose a three favor token card. But her ability says, at the beginning of the game, lose one favor token. Once per round, using a tool only costs you one favor token. Mine is... Once per round, you may re-roll a drafted die. If you can't place it, return it to where it came from. And here is my public or private objective. I don't want to show it to leave, but this is what it looks like. Here's the text in case you want to read it. Now, I won't show you hers, so I don't, you know, cheat or get accused of cheating or anything like that. And it'll keep you guys in suspense. Who knows what she's going for? <laughs> public objectives. Row shade variety, different numbers. Row color variety, different colors. And entwined colors, so a pattern that looks like that. Um, the glass tile that we placed is um, pay favor tokens equal to the number of empty spaces in your corners to place this die in your window. And we rolled a two for that. And then the two tools, 
Um, copper foil burnisher. Move any one die in your window, ignoring value restrictions. You must obey all other placement restrictions. Grinding stone. After drafting, flip the die to its opposite side. All right, go ahead. You can draft five. Okay. You pick one, I pick two, you pick one. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Back. Five by five. I have no idea what it is. I don't even know what these colors are. I didn't see. <laughs> You'll find oh out. Oh my gosh. Lots of blue. Alright, um, I'll do this one, and I'll do this one. Oh, I can't. Nope, blue and blue. Just kidding. Oh. Just kidding. Totally. Wait, you can't do that. That's can't. blue. Oh, mother, I'm colorblind. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be now. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll do this, and this. Oh, no, can't. I can't. I can't either. Oh, my if God. If you place a blue, I mean, you can do catty corner, but I wouldn't do catty corner because the blue four is there. Or that, that just the four is there. So you're going to do five. That works. Okay, you're good. <laughs> well, I don't have much of a choice. Um, I'm going to go four... Six. Can I do this instead? Yeah. Oh, no, no, I can't. No, I can't. Sorry. This is a six. Dang it. Come on. What do you mean you can't? No. I didn't want to do this. Sorry. Okay. You could have. Yeah, I could have, but I didn't want to put, like, oh, well. It's row color, not yeah. column. Well, yeah. You can change it if you want. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll do that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So I'm going to place one. Um, let's go with, wow, um, well, I guess I'll put the one, or, does it matter? Yeah, I'm going to put the six, this is a one, I'm going to put the six here. Oh, my turn? Yep, you get to take two of them. Okay, I put this one back. <laughs> I'm still deciding. I'm not even looking at those. Are I'm you still, kidding me? I'm still deciding. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think I'm good. Alright, sorry. Okay. Ugh. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I know, I know. I'm a horrible human. Uh... Alright, I'll do this one. <laughs> Good thing that wall's so far away. What do you mean? No, I'm kidding. I'm totally not ready to bash my head against it. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right. Oh, uh, you're good. So, are you happy with that before mm -hmm. I choose one? I'm never happy. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Story of my life. Oh. <laughs> Just... I'll take the green three. Oh, can't. Because if I do that, then there's a green that's needed there, and I could screw myself up. Um, so I've got to do something else. Um, I could put the green three up there. I could put the green three down there. Or the yellow two for that matter. I don't want to put the yellow two on the top row. Uh, well, the two is different value than the one and the five, so I think we'll do that. We'll start with that. Okay. And this goes away. Alrighty. Five dice. One, one, oh. five, five, three. These terrible numbers. All right. They're great numbers. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. I'm I love them. <laughs> I love it. You mm -hmm. love it so much. <laughs> um. Okay. I shall pick. Oh, I'm gonna pick this one to put over here. All right. I will choose. I'm gonna have to place this red one. I'll put that here. And the second die. I kind of like this 
green five there. And that works, yeah. Okay, and you get to pick one of those two. Oh, wait a minute. What? You can take it back. Putting the green five there blocks me here. Mm -hmm. So I may want to do that something some other way. Uh, maybe I'll put the green five um, or the blue five. I'm gonna put the blue five somewhere. No. Or you can put the red one on top. Unless I use a tool in the future that breaks placement rules. But I'd hate to lock myself in a corner that early in the game. At this point, you know, I will do it. That's fine. Go ahead. I'm just going to have to accept the fact in the future I'm going to have to use a tool to break placement rules. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Why didn't you use the red one up there on the top? I have my reasons. Ah, oh, you want to get this thing quickly. Well, no. No. I... Then you would have used that too. All right, whatever. Um, then I'll <laughs> use this. Uh, put it. No, I can't. Good. All right, so blue five goes away, and I roll five. We're a third of the way done, almost. One, two, three, four, five. All right, lots of blue. I will choose the I kind of like the um Um, before you do it, I'm going, oh no, so I would, I'd have to use two tools. I forget that. Um, I guess I'll place one of the blue sixes there. Okay. I'm going to take this blue six, put it here. Okay. And then this purple four over here. And now I'll just return it. All right. That was quick. I will do the blue two. I want to do the blue two with a green one. I'm trying to cover up these things if I can, but it's uh, proving difficult. Like, I, I want to honor the row variety and the, and the number variety, but it's... Okay. Well, actually, what I could do... No, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. You got me good. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. I have to place the green one, maybe, in this... Little corner back here, or to put it here. No, because that would break the number variety there. So maybe up here. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Is that it? Mm -hmm. All right. So I chose the last one, which means you go. Are you sure? Okay. I'm as sure as I'm going to be. Poor crazy person, that's as sure as I'm going to get. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, right? Now. Yep, you got it. Five. I always forget, like, so five, is it eight, is it twelve? I understand. <laughs> Wish it was sixteen, mm -hmm. or seventeen. Wow, three, 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 
two, five. Lots of threes. Oh my gosh. Can only pick one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can only be one. Alright. Um. Okay. I'm going to pick. Ooh, purple. All right. I will place the yellow three there. And I will place the blue three or do I wanna, no, I can't. Um, yeah, here. Because if I place the yellow two here, this is a two. So that would be bad for me to... That would mess with my feng shui. Three. Okay. That you place the last one, right? So that's... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see. Um, I choose... Wow. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Um, I would mess that up if I did that. Okay. Um, all of these choices. Yellow five I could put here. I think that's for the best. Um, I, I could do the whole break roll thing, but I don't think I'm going to do that yet. Okay, um, I think I'm happy with that. I will do... Oops, did I? No. No, you're good. One Red there. one there. Okay. And two there. Nice. That works. And I have to place either the six or the one. Um, I think I'm going to put... I can't do that. Um, what would I do with the one, though? If I were to place the one, you know what, I'm going to put the six, I can't do that either. Um, wow. Okay, I'm going to put the six over here in the corner. Okay. So, now, because I went last, I'm good to go. Got it? Cool. Notice saying we don't like blue or green. I know. Because that's all we pick in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I will pick... Um... <sighs> Dang. Um... <laughs> I like how you're counting over there. I'm not counting! I don't know. There's no way I'm getting this done. I know. I wish I could. My colors are all over the place. There's just no way. Mm -hmm. Um, I can only pick one, right? Okay. Alright. Oh, this is tough. This is really tough, actually. Um. Nice. Yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Well, um,
Purple six, I guess I can place. I put it. Put it over here. And the um, yellow. Oh, on yellow? Yeah, I think I want yellow. Put the yellow one. I could put that here. Done? I think so, yes. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, oh, shoot. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my hands are, like, so slippery. <laughs> <laughs> that good, huh? oh. I can't. I'm so glad you told me that. I love it when you touch my things, my, my game pieces, when your hands are a, a waterboard. <laughs> like, are you done? Uh, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> So you take last, that means I roll first. One, two, three. You have, how many spots do you have in your own window? I have six. Yeah, okay, there's two. <laughs> we didn't use any abilities yet or anything. I, I mean, know. Like, I'm afraid, I don't like mine because it's luck based. Yeah, and I hate mine because it's stupid based. <laughs> I see. You're waiting for me to use those so that <laughs> it's cheaper for you. I get it. No, I honestly, I don't, I'm not using I could just use it so that it could be more expensive for you. Right. <laughs> well, I like this red too. There. I mean, the odds of me... Well, I could get another... This is going to be harder to fill. I think this is better. There. So, red two there. And do I want to use... Um... You know what? Um, no, uh, no, 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 I could do that. It would bur okay. So I'm going to use one token to buy this as an action, and I'm going to put that here. So this is a two glass die, so you're going to roll one and replace it. And that's a five. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. My turn? Yeah, you choose two and I choose one. Okay. Unless it says as an action I can buy a die. I wonder if that like, the rule book is a little unclear. Buy as, and die? Well, no, what, what I mean is, it says here um, in the rule, as an action, a player may pay favor tokens to use a rare glass board, taking a rare glass die from it to place in their window. Unless otherwise indicated, this may be done at any time during their turn. It just says as an action. Mm -hmm. And the actions in here say, the two actions are, um... Uh, select one die from the draft pool, use one tool card on a player. They may perform each of the following actions in any order. So, like, at the end of the game, I'm thinking we're going to end up with extra dice. Mm. But, you know, I, I don't think this little rule book is, is enough information. Mm. Because now, because we've placed that extra glass die at the end of the game, we're going to have extra dice left over. I see. But maybe that's by design. All right, I will place this here. I think. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Um, give me the yellow five. I think 
I'm gonna do this one actually. And I will take I'm gonna take the three green. Okay. And put it somewhere. Put it here. Can I take an action now? Or yeah, you can. Yeah. So you place it, and then it's uh, yeah. So what action are you trying to take? A tool. So I can take an action now. Yes. Even after placing yes. all my dice. It says in any order. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. You have how many? Three spots left. I have four. You have four. Mm-hmm. You didn't place your glass die yet, so that's why I have... But then if I take the glass die, I have only three spots. Right, I still need to draft one. Oh, that's right, that's right, okay. Um, so I guess I don't need to pay any oh, fudge nuggets. Okay. You don't have to pay any favor tokens for that. because Yeah, you... but I can't really put it anywhere. You could put it back there. You could place it and then use the tool to break the adjacency rule by moving it, right? What do you mean? Place, this is technically a die. Yeah. This allows you to move a die that you've placed onto a spot that breaks the adjacency rule. Oh, oh so this, this, this doesn't ignore adjacency. This ignores the uh, value restriction. That's what I meant, the adjacency. If you put the five here, you could then move the five here or here because this five, because this is a five, this is a five. This doesn't, this doesn't ignore adjacency though. Yes, it does. That's it ignores what it says. value restrictions, oh. not adjacency. Value restrictions meaning if, it, if like, let's say this was. Right, but a value restriction to me would also be. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I see what you're saying. All right, that's fine. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah. I'm trying to work my way around that. <laughs> okay. Um. It just stinks that we can't switch dice. We can only move it to an empty spot. Mm -hmm. That's what's really messing me up. Um, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't hold on. Hold on. I can't. <laughs> it's not possible. No, no, no. You're going to hold on. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this anymore. All I right. just can't. All right. So how about this then? What <laughs> if... Oh, I can't do that either. <gasps> My head is gonna explode. Okay, um. Okay, what if. What is this? Purple, okay. Can I. Okay, so what if I do this? I can use a, to a thing. Oh, I can only take one action, can I? It says to use one tool, yes. Any favor tokens you have left over, though, are victory points at the end of the game. Should I risk it? Should I? <laughs> I feel like risking it. You know what? I think. Oh, no, no, no. I can't risk it. That's scary. Um, oh, this hurts. Oh, God. I hate my life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think. You know what? I'm good. You're good? Alright, so I gotta place this somewhere, right? Um. I can place the four. I can't put that there. Okay, so I'm very limited, limited here. Um. I'm gonna have to put. I hate to do that. I don't have much choice. Unless I can move things around. Um, how would I move things around to my advantage? Um, that's one. That's not going to work. Um, oops.
this is optional. I don't have to place one, but that kind of that hurts me toward the end of the game when, you know. Oh my God! I just can I do a tool? Did you place it yet? No, I didn't. I didn't place anything. Did you? Yes. Go ahead. Really? Did you already do one? I, I want to place it. No, I haven't used any. Right, go ahead. Yet. Go ahead. Can I do it? Go ahead. Okay. Um, can I do this? Go, to move something? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna move this one. I've already lost. Go ahead. No, you didn't. You didn't lose. I'm uh -huh. gonna move this one here. Now, I cannot take an action, right? What do you mean? You just took an action. I took... Oh, okay. So I can't... I have to do this one next turn. No, you should... Yeah, go ahead. I, again, the rule book doesn't specify how many actions you can take. It just... The rule book... The, it, this says, as an action, you can take... Yeah, so go ahead and do that. Go ahead and place it so now. So you can place two actions in a row? Yeah, go ahead. Right. So says, I have... Taking no a dice is an action. So go ahead. So that's two actions in a row. That's fine. You, I, I should wait till next turn. No, it's fine. The rule, the base rule book says drafting a die is an action, and doing a tool is an action. This says buy this for an action. But you can't take two actions. In a it row. doesn't say. No, it, it does the base, say. It's the a, base rule says. You can do yes, one. it does. No, it didn't. It said you can do both in either order. On a player's turn, they may perform each of the following actions in any order. Okay. Select one die, use one tool card. Okay. That's fine. The expansion says, as an action, a player may pay favor tokens to use a rare... It doesn't say this replaces drafting or this, replace, or this replaces... The, it doesn't say anything about that, which is to the rule book's detriment. So go ahead I and... Did, I did. You're good. <laughs> no, it's your turn. All I'm right. sorry. I just, I use this to move this one out here so that I can take this die and put it in place of that one. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I got to pick one of these. Um, or I don't, I could pass. Um, so that would give me one, two, three, four dice to fill. For, okay. So I still, there's still couple more rounds left. I'm going to draft two, one round, two. Okay, so these aren't really favorable to me. I don't like these. Um, I may try to pass on this. Five. I can't. Moving the five down there, it still leaves the problem of the green there, which I... No. And I have no other five to move unless it's this one. I could... But that would po cause a problem with that. Um, those two fives can't be next to each other. Um, yeah, I think I'm screwed here. Um, my only hope is to get, and, and this red is here. Since I'm screwed on that, um, I may move things out of this row. Oh. Is there another? I may move this down here to ensure that I've got row variety on the bottom. So I could do, I could spend two tokens to move that down. Because this, this row is a wash anyway. Um, the only downside is my objective. Would I get more points doing that? Or would I get more points? No, I would actually get more points doing that. I think. So I may just give up on this row entirely. Um, move that down. Now, what does this say? After dr drafting, flip the die to its opposite side. Okay, that's drafting, though. That's not... What's drafting? Drafting means taking a die from here. Well, you can... F yeah, you can flip one of these dies, right? Yeah, but that's... Uh, um... I'm going to pass on taking anything. Okay. Well, actually, that would put those up there like that. We wouldn't. Okay, now I have to take one. All right, I'm just going to put the yellow four here. Done. Okay. So now um, I get to draw five. One, two, three, four. It's too many. One, two, three, four, five. All 
Alrighty, there we go. Um, that's not half bad. Um, out of all of that crap, um, I'm gonna put the red six up there. That's my turn. Um, unless I use ability, which I don't think I'm... Can I use an ability at this point? Would that help? Um, don't want to mess with that. That's gone. I could. No, I can't. I can't. Nope. Can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> Ugh. This hurts so much. It does. It really does. Alright, let's go ahead. That's, I'm good. I'm good. You sure? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Um, I'm going to take this red floor and put it here. Okay. Um, and... I will take the yellow two. Oh, I can't put it next to a color, huh? The same adjacent seat. Yeah. Seat. Keep in mind, though, um, I won't be able to place any of these dice. So more than likely, they're gonna. There's two. Like the game's gonna be over shortly. Yeah. Because if I can't place one of them. Yeah. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna use this. And I'm going to flip this over to one. Okay. And I'm going to place it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, I take that back. Good job. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. either way. Baby, why didn't you roll better? <laughs> it's all right. You can blame me. It's I'm fine. Kidding. It's I'm fine. No, no. I'm used to it. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> it's I'm fine. kidding. Um, let's see. Well, I I'm I really shot myself in this game. I I didn't get the color bonuses or the row variety. Like I didn't get anything. This is a terrible terrible game. Yeah. Hold on. Things just not come together. Okay, I got it. I'm going to use this. Oh man, I can't. I need more friggin' face thing tokens. What do you mean? I need more stupid Why? favor tokens because I want to chain things. <laughs> oh, but you can only use one tool per turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. As an action. You place a die, you... Mm -hmm. You're right. Okay. I'm going to move this. I have really no choice. I'm going to move... Oh, man. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. My brain. Because um, I need the tool there. So if I actually. Oh, okay. Wait, is that a. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move this over here. Yeah, and I'm gonna. So I moved. I used this to move this die over here. Okay. I'm gonna. How many dice do I take? Just one, right? You take two. Okay. So I'm taking this one. Oh, no, one. I'm sorry. You take one more. Okay. Because there's two dice left now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now it's your turn. Okay. Um... Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> oh, well. Crap. I want to take that back so bad. <laughs> but I can't. I'm done. I need to get a purple one up there, but I have no purple. Um, so if I were to place, I have to place a green or a yellow, and I can't. Mm -hmm. So what can I move that would allow me to break rules and, like, I could put a die here by breaking the rule. But what would I, what would I move to do that? I could move the blue one here, over there. And then put the green, no, can't because that yellow six is, I could then use, no, I don't have enough favor tokens. Um, I need 
to move a green one. It would have to be a four. It would have to be a four or a six. No. Yeah, I could move the yellow. No. Do I have a... No, I don't. <laughs> Urgh, boy, this stinks. No matter... I can't move anything here. Bec unless... Maybe if I move one of these other ones. If I move this up. If I move that up there. But that doesn't help me at all. But then I could put... No, I can't. Or if I put... Okay. I could put this one there and break, break. But now that wouldn't that wouldn't do me any good. I'd lose points doing that. Oh boy. Um, the other option is. You, I can't take it back. No, you're done. Dang. All right. All right. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I was gonna do now. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. What do you want? What do you want to do? No, it's fine. I was I was gonna put that uh, uh, the the yellow four back. Yellow four. Mm-hmm. And take the green six. It's fine. I don't know if that would benefit me or not. Yeah, it's it's. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It doesn't seem like it would. It actually would probably hinder you. Because you can't place yellow anyways. I can't. Well, I'm trying to move something somewhere to benefit me. And uh, well, pre pretend that you, you if have I were a yellow to, four in here. Well, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, no matter if I use abilities, mm -hmm. like, this is this is green here and this is yellow. So I can't, pl like, these colors are terrible. You could use this. To move something. Yeah. Right, but. And remember, you can take any one of your dice to move it. Right. The question is, um, I could move the red one. No, if I move the red one, I can't because there's that. And pretend you have a yellow four. No. <laughs> because then that means I can take it. No. <laughs> Where could I place a green six if I were to take it? If I were to place a green six... Um, I could, I could maybe move that over the, not because there's a green six, there's a blue six there. Um, so this is out, 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 this is out. Okay, all of this side is out. Um, this could be a spot, but no, it needs a two, no, but if I move it, no, because I need to put it somewhere, no, and there's a green there anyway. This yellow five, I can't. When it says ignores mm. value restrictions. That's the number that's underneath, I believe. Yeah, but does that include the dice around it? Or I is... don't think so, honestly. But you can check. Um I don't think there's a rules thing in here for that. I mean to me dice the little pamphlet? Hold on, let me, let me see where this classifies. Hold on. Um, mm -mm. End of round games. Okay, hold on. Looking for dice placement. Dice match the value restriction. Okay, may never, okay, so yeah, you're correct. That, I can't do that. All right, so I'm, I'm basically stuck here. Um, I'd have to end the game as is, and there's nothing I can do really to move things around to my advantage with these two dice that are remaining. Um, so what would happen is um, these would come up here like this, and um, now I think what would happen is if there are any, if there are all remaining dice cover the numbers. If multiple dice remain, these do not cover additional. Okay, so you're, these just cover that. So there is still an additional round left over. 
Instead of this two going here to the tenth space, it goes underneath. Oh, okay. So we still have one more round. So because I chose the last one, you get to roll for the final round. Ook is right. I regret so much what I did because I have no favorite target now. So I just shot myself. No, you might game. you might have a way to get. Do do well, please. I Wow. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. Good job, hun. Take this red five. It's your turn. Well, what I could do is I can take the purple five and Remember you have this one too. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do tool, just flip this to a two, and put that here. Nice. And that leaves me with the six, the fives, and the threes left over. What in the world could I possibly move to get this? I can't. So that's that. So now these come back to you. You, oh, you're, you're done? Yeah. Okay. So that's it. These go here. Um, I really shot myself with this. I thought I could, in the, I thought I could in the past, I thought I could break the adjacency rule with this, but it's only the it's only the restriction. So that's my Oh, bad. this two fives in a row? Yeah. That's why I couldn't place this. Well, I, why couldn't you use this and just put that five on top of it? Right here? Yeah. Well, this is green. So regardless if I... You, there, you there's no... You could have used this right, and still moved I know, it. but look. This is a green five. Even if I move this uh, down, I still couldn't put... A green three here because this green match like not none of these dice. I would have done it anyways because next turn you could have flipped it over whatever rolled over and then possibly. Well, what I could have done if I moved it once, like if I did this right, mm -hmm. I'd have to roll a die and hope that I got a green one. I mean, I could do that. Why green one? Because a one or a six is the only but thing that. But it can't would... be green though. Because you can't... Right, you're right, yeah. So, it, it wouldn't matter. So, this is fine. It That's what I mean, it's kind of it's kind of messed up. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, um, so that ends the game, right? Mm -hmm. So now, um, what we do is we flip this over. Score tracker. Oh, cool. And you were purple, right? So, let's reveal our secret stuff. I've got sum of values of all dice diagonally adjacent to your nice. glass token. I have this one. Um, sum of all light and medium values, one, two, three, and four adjacent to your die. Nice. Okay. So, um, one, two, threes, and fours. Okay. So let's start with... Um, I wish there was like a pen and paper or like a, a thing. <laughs> why? Because uh, this, this scoring is going to be tough. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Let's go with the public objectives first. Okay. Row shade variety. Um, do you have any rows that are unique numbers? One, one two, three. Three of them. Got this one. Mm -hmm. This. Oh, no. Oh, dang. This one and the bottom one. I this one has two fives. Yeah. This one has yeah. two fours and two fives. Yeah, so, so just the first and the second. So you got ten points on that. Okay. I got... Um, I don't think I have any of them. Sixes, that's a two, three, four, five, seven, there's one. Nice. None there, none there. So I got five points on that one. Okay. And then row color variety, you got one there. So it should be three. One there. Not, the not that one. one. So here, so you got three of them. So that would be 10 plus um, six times three is 18, so 28. Mm -hmm. So you're up to 28 points. Mm -hmm. Mine, I didn't do as well either. Um, I got unique here on the top. Well, one, two, not here, not here. So I got two. So that would be uh, 12. So five plus 12 is 17. Mm. Any here? Um, I thought I did. <laughs> this, you no. came close with this, yeah. but... I came close with a lot of them, but no. I had two in the last game that we tried. Yeah. Dang. Sorry. No, I don't have any either. Okay, so private objectives, you got... Uh, 13 for this one. Right. But I also have one of those, um, I have one of these. That doesn't count. This is its own oh, color. Oh, the wild mm -hmm. doesn't count? No, it's its own color. Wow. 
So you got <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. 13 plus 28 is 41. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And mine, I did 5, 10, 16, 22, 26, 31. Wow, that was really good. I did all sixes and fives if I could. So 17 plus 31 is 48. Wait, is it the sum? It's sum of values of all dice diagonally aligned with your rare glass die, excluding this. So I did 12 here, 10 here, that's 22. Oh, wow. 22 plus 5 is uh, uh, 27. 27 plus 4 is 31. Yeah, wow, that's really good. Um, and then favor tokens left over. I have two left over, so I get two points. Nice. So I have empty one. spot. I lose one. Wow. So 49 to 41. I... This, this really set me over the edge. Yeah, I thought I was going to win it. Wow, that was really good. Really, really good. It was good. really close. So what did you think of this module? Did you like, did you, is there modules that you didn't like? Like, what did you think of these special abilities? I hated the, if the special abilities were better, maybe, but they were just a drag. Well, which, um, <laughs> let's see if I can find the other ones. This one was once per game, you may gain up to three favor tokens from one tool card. Mm -hmm. So you can like refund, you can get some back. Mm -hmm. One is after drafting, you may place the drafted die on this card if it is empty. At the end of a future round, you may place this die in your window. So you can mm -hmm. reserve a die with this one. Um, one is once per round after drafting, you may spend one favor token to break a color or number restriction when placing a die. Mm -hmm. Once per round after drafting, you may spend one favor token to swap the drafted die for a die from the round track. Um, and that's it. So I think the ones that we got were pretty crappy, but it seemed like there was one or two in here that were really good. Mm -hmm. but, so you didn't like these? No. Did you like the new private objectives with the glass dice? They're okay. They're okay? Everything else, I mean... Did they... you like anything about this expansion? <sighs> There's the glass window. Did you like the glass? The, the... I thought it would have been a little bit better. I have to say, even playing the core game again, it's like, uh, it was so mad. Really? <laughs> yeah, like, it was very limiting. Like, it was like a chokehold. <laughs> well, that's Sagrada, and that's that's yeah. that's by design, but... I know. I... Did you like, would you play with the new, would you rather play with the core game again, or would you rather play with the expansion in the future? I would probably rather play the expansion with these spe um with this with the I, I, I do like this okay the private objectives that involve the glass yeah I as opposed to unique colors like going after green or blue or yeah i have to wonder because obtaining the glass is kind of annoying it's kind of silly it's like whatever um Okay, so <laughs> that's good, huh? I don't know. I mean, it's okay. Azul is like a million times better. You I like you you like Azul better. Azul is so much better. Dice Forge is so much better. Like this didn't have a lot of ways to modify. It's it's and you know me, I like to modify dice. And mm -hmm. with this one, you just roll and you have to place it. It's just such a chokehold. Mm -hmm. But I mean, yeah, I guess that's the mechanics of the game. And I guess I thought I don't know. It, it was okay. Um, clever. The German. Yeah. That was also kind of a chokehold, but it was. I think it was a better. It gave you a lot more options. Yeah, it was. A, it was a better drafting game, drafting dice game than this one, I think. Mm. Which is kind of sad because I do like this game. It's just so like, man, it makes me want to punch it in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that good, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll say. I'll just say that I liked Sagrada. I like the expansion. Um, it adds more to the game. Not as much as I would have liked it to add to it. Mm -hmm. Like, it just, it adds more public objectives and private objectives. It adds these special abilities, which if you're given one you don't like, you're stuck with for the rest of the game. Like, I really didn't, don't like luck-based stuff. Yeah. Um, I would have preferred one of these other ones. Maybe if you're at home and you want to house rule it, you can have people go through the deck and pick. Yeah. Or maybe get, maybe draw, deal two or three to each player, and then you can draw, you yeah. can pick the one that you want. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, you know what I mean? Like pick two, like take two, and then pick one that you want. You right. Know? Something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something. So it's not bad. I'm saying, if you play Sagrada a lot, 
then you may want to look at this to add some extra flavor to your game. But if you only play this once or twice, it's not like you need to rush out and buy this expansion. The core game of Sagrada will will fill yeah. fill the shoes rather well. I would it's, have added three of these, like three in total. I would have added two more tools and maybe times, like, I don't know, times 15, three. Fifteen favor no, tokens. No, no, times three, <laughs> times three favor tokens than what you originally would have started. Mm. Unless you're over, like, four. Gotcha. Because that would have been OP. Mm. So there you go, folks. That was just a quick look at the Sagrada Passion expansion. It gets an okay from Ida Lee and an okay from me. Uh, depends on what kind of player you are. If you like Sagrada a lot, then you may want this one. But if you're a casual player and you don't really play this a whole lot, then Sagra the expansion's just... It adds more stuff, sure, but uh, the core game, I think, is enough for you. Well, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vincent Idoli. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.